Learning target 2.16, I can identify the subunit within a polymer. Okay, so a subunit is the basic unit of a polymer. It's also known as a monomer. Okay, um, to figure out what it is, you look at the polymer that's repeating, look at the part that's actually repeating, and that'll be your subunit. Super simple. So here's like a diagram type of information, or diagram practice, right? So you don't have to write this down. This is just for you to visually see what I'm talking about. All right, let's say this is a polymer. It keeps going. That means it continues going. Which is the subunit within this polymer? Um, the subunit is the little basic unit that keeps repeating itself. That's my subunit. Okay, so let's go ahead and try a sample question that does not have shapes in it. Sorry. Here's your sample question. Which of the following is the correct structure for the monomer that is used to make this chain growth polymer above? Okay, so chain growth just means we're continuing to add on more parts. Okay. So I look at my structure. It looks a little scary because there's a lot of things that are connected, right? But just look at the part that's repeating over and over and over again, okay? So it looks like this is my repeating chunk. Right? Because after that, if you can go ahead and draw this on it, this is the part that keeps repeating itself over and over and over and over again. Okay. So great, I've identified it. Now I have to look at these answer choices to see which one of these matches. Okay, so the first one is a CH2, so I'm gonna cross this one off. The second one is that it's bonded to a CH, right? bonded to a CH and then it's also bonded to CNO, oh, sorry, CONH2. Okay, let's take a look at these. So the C is bonded to an H, right? So after the first one, C is, nope, so it's not this one because there's no H bonded to the C. It's either this one or that one. So is the C bonded to CONH2? Yep, right? Here is the one that is the same as that. Now this one's tricky. What's the trick part here? This. So this is saying that this would be the entire thing. So let me just use a different color just so you can get an idea. Right. This molecule in black says this is the repeating subunit. This whole thing is not repeating, right? Clearly it sort of cuts off here. So the correct answer is the one in pink. You might want to watch this part again just to get a, another idea of where I'm drawing it and how the cutoffs are made. So, but in summary, all right, to figure out the subunit, just look for the part that's repeating. I like to draw and sort of cut it apart so I can visually see the difference. And then you'll find the monomer in the polymer.